Okay, my absent good deed doers. There's just a few things you need to know for the uh, homework for tonight. One, how do you change KP to KC? Well, you use the uh, equation that's on 634. Easy peasy. Two, on 638, there's some rules of step-by-step -step, uh, equations that equal an overall step. So, for example, if you have an overall equation reaction that equals two steps added together, you, you can multiply the two KCs of the two elementary steps to get the overall KC. And then the last thing is that the forward KC is the inverse of the, uh, of the reverse KC. So those are very easy. Finally, heterogeneous equilibria. Well, heterogeneous, as you know, means things that are of a different phase. So here's an example. Uh, AG, CL, that's a solid. When we put it into water, some of it dissolves into AG plus and CL minus. These are both aqueous. The AG, C, the AG is dissociating into AG plus and CL minus. Now, ah, I want to get this on there. If we do a KC of this, you would do KC equals the products concentrations over the reactant concentration. But wait, this is a solid. A solid concentration is interesting because what is concentration? Moles per liter. So a certain amount of moles solid per liter of solid. But then if you lose, that's a ratio. If you lose a bit solid, you're also losing some of the volume. So it's the same concentration. It's the same ratio. So really, you have a constant concentration when you have a solid or a liquid, by the way. So you don't even include it in the KC expression. So just remember that. This is it. The KC is just the uh, concentrations of the dissociated ions. This is not KC, it's called KSP, and it's the solubility product. And it shows us how far will something dissolve when you put it in water. Obviously, you know that AgCl precipitates when it's together in a solution. So would the KSP be really big or really small? Well, you have to remember that there is this constant concentration on the bottom, okay? If your KSP is really, really, really small, then that means that these, the Ag plus and the Cl minus, are really, really small. That means that the reactant is favored. So when you have AgCl in water, it really doesn't dissociate much. That's some of the stuff you need to know. Look at the other videos to look at a couple ice table equilibrium problems, but I'm not giving you any of those to do today.